Hey guys, Karis here with another review. This time I'll be reviewing the Deluxe Boost Mark II Race Buckle from Conrad Geats. This is an upgrade version of the Boost Race Buckle, which Geats can use to obtain his next power up form. So, let's get started. First up, we'll look at the Boost Mark II Buckle on its own. So, this one has a pretty interesting design. You can see that, like with the Boost Race Buckle, it does have a thrall to it. It also has these covered parts, what really makes it stand out. What really makes it stand out, rather, is that it has this extended plate with a little circle in the middle. And this will extend further onto the desired driver than a normal race buckle would. And you can kind of see you know, these details behind here. That's the way it does have this clear black plastic. And those will come more in play when we actually use it with the desired driver. Now this one. You got the gimmick here where if you twist the throttle here, it'll make these four spring-loaded exhausts come out. We can see that the tips are painted in metallic red and silver, and the inner part is a nice chrome red. With this little bit of gold here as well. I also have this bit of purple here lining the rim, and this does indicate something else that we'll get into later in the review. Next up, we'll bring in the desired driver for the transmission, which is pretty self explanatory. Here we have the transmission for Kaminar Geats Boost Form Mark II. Where you can see that the green light makes a flame pattern appear within this inner part of the driver, or within the inner part of the buckle, rather. So it all stand out like this. So quite nice. And then we have the two attacks thanks to it being a boost buckle. So you have the boost strike again, and then you can pull through all twice for boost time. For the boost grand strike. And of course, like with other race buckles, you can also do a revolve on. Revolve on. After that, as I alluded to last time, the boost Mark II race buckle can also be used with the back half of the Laser Race Riser for a new additional form. So we're going to do that. First we'll equip the Boost Mark II buckle to the right side of the belt. Then to the left side, we'll attach the Laser Rays Riser. Then we'll activate Boost Mark II and then the Rays Riser. And this gives us Kaminar Geet's laser boost form, where we now have a change to a red pattern within the belt, as well as new sounds that come from the raised riser instead of from the desired driver. 
so, like this, and still activate the attacks for the uh, Boost Mark II buckle. But they now change to Hyper Boost. Additionally, you can use the lever on the laser rays riser for a new finish mode attack. And you can even get a little creative with it. Additionally, while in this mode, geese can also use the laser laser riser separately. I can use this opportunity to show you guys that even when there is no laser riser card set into it, you can still use the two attacks via the lever. And then you can sit back here to get the transformation again. And there we go. So overall, the boost for Mark II buckle is a pretty impressive power-up item, but it's also something that basically acts as the last piece of the laser rays riser, as the sounds that you get from it are unlocked via using it in addition with the laser rays riser and not sounds that are normally in the desired driver. So in that case, it makes sense that there are two ways to obtain this. One is on its own, and the other is in a two-piece set along with the Laser Raised Riser. That does leave out the additional Raised Riser cards, but again, if you want that, you can just buy the Raised Riser belt. But that said, I can certainly recommend picking this up, as it does give you a new form, but I more so recommend it when you get, or if you already have, the raised riser, especially because you can't exactly use a lot of other raised buckles with it due to the way it's formed. You're basically just limited to using small raised buckles on the other side, since the other ones would basically conflict with the kind of screen overlay of the Boost Mark II buckle. That said, these two together, Definitely recommend it if you have a desired driver. Next time we'll be returning to King Ozer, and I'll be reviewing the Deluxe Kumono Slayer. So, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And if you're new and would like to see more, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. And for now, this is Carrot50, riding off.